A frittata is a cross between an omelet and a quiche. This one gets a double blast of flavor by being cooked, you guessed it, on the grill. Think an Italian classic channeling barbecue. First step, fire up the grill. Load the smoker box with soaked hardwood chips. I'm using oak, the preferred grilling wood in Italy. For an herbal flavor, you can add a couple of sprigs of rosemary. Place the lid on the smoker box and place the grate on the grill. This will be a vegetable frittata. I'm using shiitake mushrooms, yellow squash, zucchini, yellow bell peppers, asparagus stalks, and scallions. Cut them into one inch pieces and place in a mixing bowl. Season with sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Then stir in extra virgin olive oil. And toss to coat well. It's useful to use a vegetable grilling grate. This is a perforated metal pan. The holes let the fire and smoke come through. You see we have nice smoke coming out of the smoker box. Place your vegetable pieces on this vegetable grilling grate. The beauty of a vegetable grilling grate, you can slide it over the smoke. The perforations allow the smoke to come through. It's great for grilling small pieces of vegetables, which otherwise would fall through the spaces between the bars of the grates. While the vegetables are grilling, make the egg mixture. It starts with eight eggs. Oh, that's a double yoker. Another double yoker. That's gonna bring us a lot of luck. Then add a generous pinch of sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Take a whisk. Whisk the egg mixture until well blended. Now next, add a little heavy cream. And we'll do a chiffonade of fresh herbs. We have fresh basil. I'll tear it off the stem. And to make a chiffonade, you roll the basil up tightly into a tube. And using a shun nakiri, cut it crosswise into hair-thin slivers. Next, add about a cup of freshly grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese to the egg mixture. Then, your thinly slivered basil, and you can strip some fresh thyme into the frittata. We're talking very fresh vegetable and herb flavors here. Finally, strip some rosemary leaves off the stems. You can finally chop the rosemary. Whisk in your fresh herbs. The vegetables are nicely charred. Put on your grill gloves and transfer the veggies to a sheet pan. At this point, you want to set up your grill for indirect grilling. So turn off the center burner, keep the outside burners on high, and close the grill lid to build up the heat. So now all you have to do is add the grilled vegetables to the egg mixture. The beauty of grilling the vegetables it makes them sweeter, gives them a kind of smoky char. Then stir the vegetables into 
the frittata mixture and your frittata mixture is ready. Now heat your cast iron skillet and add about two tablespoons of butter and swirl the pan to coat the sides with butter too. Then add your frittata mixture to the hot butter in the pan. Great. Take the remaining cheese and sprinkle it on top of the frittata. And cut the remaining butter on top. Then take your frittata, place it in the center of the grill. Once again, this is classic indirect grilling, heat on the outside, no heat in the center. Close the grill lid and you'll indirect grill the frittata until the eggs are set. That'll be about 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes, so let's check the frittata. And it sure looks done. You can see the egg has shrunk back from the sides of the pan. But just to make certain, I'll insert a bamboo skewer. Comes out clean. The frittata is ready. Put on your glove. Transfer the frittata to a trivet. Then take a paring knife and just run it around the inside of the pan. You can give the pan a little shake. Let's loosen the frittata. Now for the moment of truth. So place a plate over the pan, say a little prayer, and turn the frittata over. Give it a shake. And lift the pan. Bingo! So there, folks, is your vegetable frittata. And I'll just cut a slice. Let's see how we did. Mmm, grilled vegetables, creamy eggs, gentle whiff of wood smoke. Now this is a frittata.